University of Maryland and the Division of Student Affairs, Departments of Resident Life and Residential Facilities are thrilled to announce the opening of the first of our two new residence halls located in the newly established Heritage Community. We are proud to name our two new residence halls after fearless trailblazers, Pian Su, Kunjin Chen, Elaine Johnson Coates, and Hiram Whittle, who will forever be symbols of opportunity and progress, and whose resolve and determination to succeed against all odds serve as an inspiration to all Terps. The new Heritage Community Residence Halls and Dining Hall is located between Stadium Drive and Farm Drive. The state-of-the-art residence halls will accommodate approximately 900 residents featuring both single and double rooms. Pian Chin Hall will open its doors to half of those 900 students with 450 new students in August of 2021. And Johnson Widow Hall will complete construction in 2022. Now let's take a look at Pian Chin Hall to learn more about its features. Pian Chen Hall is approximately 131,000 square feet and is a six-story building. These new residence halls are designed to achieve a silver rating under LEED version 4. To optimize energy performance, the design combines the benefits of good solar orientation and exterior wall construction with efficient climate control and lighting systems. Many of the building systems are controlled with occupancy sensors to help reduce our energy use and they are also metered to measure consumption. One of the great features of the building's interior is the amount of natural daylight. It was important that this design provided great views to the exterior to support the comfort and well-being of all who live, study, and work here. Pian Chen Hall and Johnson Whittle Hall are sited to maximize landscaped space and create an outdoor plaza that will become the hub of this community. When it is complete, there will be a great mix of hardscape and natural landscaping that also helps to address local stormwater management requirements. The residence halls are similar in scale to the neighboring traditional brick residence halls, but are detailed in a more contemporary architectural style. Our approach was to locate building entrances and pedestrian pathways to help students navigate to and from the academic core of campus and to connect to amenities like the stadium, the new dining hall, and La Plata Beach. Design of Pion Chen started in early 2018, so we are excited to complete construction of the building this summer to open the University of Maryland's newest residence hall. Students can expect upon move-in to have access to both the east and west sides of the building to assist with providing traffic paths into the building. Resident Light will provide a limited amount of movable bins to help students unload their vehicles, but students are encouraged to bring their own dollies or hand trucks to help transport items into their rooms. Students will notice adjacent to Pian Chen, construction will be in full swing on Johnson Whittle Hall which will complete construction later this year, and the new dining hall finishing up late spring of 2022. Students can expect to see a glimpse of the construction process by viewing site and building facade work taking place on Johnson Whittle Hall during move-in. Pian Chin Hall has remarkable views providing an overlook of the new dining facility, Johnson Whittle Hall, on the Plata Beach, each floor has numerous study rooms and lounges with a storefront opening at every corner of the building that maximizes natural light. Residential floors feature a central lounge space with great views of the Plata Beach, enclosed study areas, and clusters of private communal accessible bathrooms. In residence halls with traditional doubles and singles, this bathroom configuration offers students the opportunity to interact with each other in common vanity spaces. While individual toilet and shower compartments provide a much greater level of privacy and accessibility for all. Another great building feature is that students will have 24-hour access to laundry rooms located on each floor. A service desk is located on the first floor and will serve as a resource for students offering day and night operation, emergency assistance, support and resources, and the location where students receive their packages or check out spare keys when needed. 
mix of students, primarily first and second years, which will include some living learning programs and student athletes. Opening a brand new residence hall also allows students the opportunity to create new traditions, develop a tight knit community and make it their own. Hi everyone, my name is Jorge Amante Florman and I'm the new resident director for Pion Chen Hall. And I'm so excited to have you all this fall. Pyeongchang and the future adjacent Johnson Whittle Hall each has 450 beds, featuring both single and double rooms. Each room has a twin size adjustable extra long bed, a personal open closet, a desk, a desk chair, four drawer dressers, luxury vinyl floor, and adjustable blinds. Each floor has one accessible student room with a private bathroom. Additionally, the bathroom setup is unique with all single use restrooms, meaning no community style bathroom. There will be a 24 hour community operations desk staffed by community assistants and a desk operations specialist available for residents in the lobby of Pyeongchang Hall. There will be 11 resident assistants to provide support and connections with residents. Each floor has a laundry room and a trash room. On floors two through six, there are two study rooms and a large open concept floor lounge. On the first floor, there's a welcoming living room space, a large study room for the building, a multi-purpose room, and a building kitchen. Residents living on the first floor wing have their own lounge and a study room. There's lots of space for studying, hanging out, and for getting to know other residents and creating lifelong friendships. I, along with all the resident assistants in the building, will offer amazing programming and events for students to attend, such as our opening block party that we'll be having within the first couple weeks of school. This fall, we're looking to throw it back to the 1990s and have a throwback night. In the spring, we're looking to have our North Campus Carnival right outside on the La Plata Beach. And of course, there's always room for new traditions with this brand new beautiful building. Again, on behalf of the Division of Student Affairs, we are excited to welcome 450 students to the Pion Chen Residence Hall and the Heritage Community this fall. Go Terps!